So, we are still looking at the expression for the refractive index of, of liquid. And now we have looked at the first idea using a concave mirror. And then number two, we can now say, let's look at real and apparent apparent depths using real and apparent depths and then you can say consider an object or placed at the bottom of a liquid in a container Come on. The object the object appear to an observer above above it as raised to some height as shown below okay so we are looking at a scenario where you have your liquid in a container and then you so happen to put an object yeah? a kind of object below the liquid at the bottom of the liquid what is very true is that when you try looking at that object to yourself it will appear like the object has been raised up, isn't it? You look at it, it's too shallow. So, we want now to use that idea to, to derive something very simple here. That if I if I have this, what actually happens is that when I have object here, what is it true? Rays of light will move from the object, be refracted here, okay, and will be appearing will be appearing to be coming from here. And this is what we're calling that image now. That if I have, this is now my liquid. This is my liquid. That if I have this object here and then someone happens to see it, you will see this object as raised somewhere here. And I think that what you are exactly seeing as the object is raised, it is not true. It is just the image of the object. And how does that happen? That light rays from the object will move. When it is now leaving the, leaving the rays, leaving the liquid and moving in air now to your eyes, what happens is... There is some kind of refraction that takes place, but we know that if it is moving from more dense to less dense, the refraction goes away from normal. It moves away from normal. And then what will happen is, if it comes in your eye here, in your own observation, you will not see the refraction, the bending that has taken place. Instead, you'll see things in straight line. Is that it? The propagation of light being in straight line. Like, therefore, what you will see, you will see, you will see 
this light here as not coming from O, but for you will see it as coming direct away from o, B, I. And therefore, this object here will be seen to be here. Now, what is very true is that uh, what is very true is that uh, in reality, this is what we are calling the real depths. Okay? And then, what is now apparent or which looks like is this. This is what we are calling the apparent depths. It is apparent or relative. It looks like the depth is that. And now, this is exactly, I can call it D, which is what we are calling the, what we are calling the displacement. Okay? That it is, in reality, the real depth is this. But now it looks like it is this point. Now the depth is just this apparent depth. It looks like, isn't it? Apparent. But now what is very true out of that is that if the object which is here is now appearing to be here, that means it has been displaced from here to this point here. So D is the displacement by our observation. And what is bringing all this is the effect of refraction. So, if I look at reversibility of light to allow me to say this is angle I and this is angle R, okay? It will be true that if this is angle R, this one here can as well be R, okay? Hey, could I call them those alternating angles? Okay? And then what is very true is that even this one should be our eye. If you look at this, if I have something like this, if I have that as eye, and then this one also should be eye, it looks like it is a corresponding angle at the same point. Uh, so this one should also be our eye. And then if this is my any, that point I can call it any. Let's see at what comes out next. So, we can say, applying Snell's law at B. I'm coming now at this point B here. And I'm going to apply Snell's law. So if I'm applying Snell's law here, I'll say refractive index of air, sine of angle in air is I, to be equal to the refractive index of the liquid, sine of angle of, sine of the angle which is in the liquid is R. That is the Snell's law I'm talking about at this point here, B. And then I'll say, from my triangle, from my triangle, triangle, any I B, any I B, this one here, right angled at that point. What is very true is that sine of I will be opposite of this angle here, okay? L B out of the hypotenuse is I B. And then similarly from my triangle any O that is if I'm looking at this point being O this is my object. Uh, so any O any O B I can say my sign of R, okay, is equal to the opposite any B out of the hypotenuse or B. Any B or B. So, if I decide now to substitute all these two 
in my equation here, okay? If I can call this one equation one, this is equation two. And then I can say substituting equation one and two in equation star. So that will give us LA the refractive index of air, which is known as one times sine of I, which is NB out of IB. And then if that is very true, and then it is clear to me that uh, I will say it is equal to any L or the refractive index of the liquid sine R, but sine of R is the same as any B out of O, B. And then you realize that this and this can excuse us. And then my any L can reduce to O, B over I, B. It's now O, B over I, B. And then I will say, for smaller angles, for smaller angles of I and R, comma, point B will be close to any such that such that that if these angles we look at smaller angles of i may be like this as our i you realize that point b will come very close to that and then we can now say if point b comes close to that point we can now say our ib will approximately become I N -E, and our O B will approximate to to O N. -E, okay, so this is also another assumption that is very very important. You can talk about it as I being small angles, or you can say for observation made vertical above. Okay, that if someone makes an observation from here. That means that this point here that is coming from what will be along that line. So all the same, or we can just be consistent by looking at smaller angles. But in this case here, the smaller angle we are talking about can be small by making observation directly above. Therefore, if you mention that, you will still be talking about the same thing. So if that is true, we'll say any L is equal to O B, but O B is the same as the O. N and uh, divide by IB, which is the same as I N now. O N out of I N. What is O N? O N is this. And we have already said something that uh, that is equivalent to something we are calling real depths. Divide by I N. I N is the apparent so it is very clean that refractive index of a liquid can be real depth divided by apparent depth so I can now therefore continue and say any L equal to real depth what is our real depth we can maybe say if I'm to continue, I maybe say, let me call my real depths as T. Is that it? Real depths T. And then I'll say it will be now T out of apparent depths. Apparent depths is this. Therefore, it will become T minus D. So it will be T minus D. Okay? And now from here, I can decide to cross multiply and I say here I have any L T minus any L D equaling to T. That is if I make decision of cross multiplying and opening the bracket. Any L T minus any L 
D. So, from here now, I can now decide, maybe I can make T the subject from here. I can make T the subject here to simplify my expression. And I can say, I can now say, so let me make T or I make D. Let me make D the subject. I can now say, any L or T minus T. I'm bringing this one this side. And then this one will be any L or D. So from here, I can now remove out T. And I say T into any L or minus 1 is equal to any L or D. I can divide by any L or I can divide by any L. So my D here can therefore be equal to T into, into any L out of any L minus 1 out of any L. That is if I distribute it to all these. And my D will be T into 1 minus 1 out of any L. So this is now the expression for displacement. When they give you the depth of the liquid and its refractive index, and then they ask you, by how much will the, an object placed at the bottom of such a liquid of a given depth, by how much will the object be displaced, okay? We can calculate it from here. And I'm very happy to tell you that this very same formula can even work when we are not only looking at an object placed at the bottom of a liquid, but as well, if we get an object and we put a glass block on it, what is very true is that also it will also appear.